As we mentioned in our previous video titled Private Equity Fund Investment Risks, investors, when you are looking to invest in private equity, it is helpful to have a clear idea of your entire portfolio's industry exposure so that you can figure out how investing in private equity will integrate into your existing portfolio so you can achieve your overall desired industry exposure. Now, more and more investors are looking to gain specific industry exposure through private equity funds that focus on specific sectors. Now, before I continue, as you probably noticed, we use the words sector and industry interchangeably, even though sector is broader in scope and industry is more specific. Now, in this video, we will go over three examples of private equity firms that have sector-specific private equity funds. We'll go over Lumera Ventures, Finch Capital, and Vista Equity Partners. And we'll end the video with a final thought. So let's get started in my home country of Canada with Lumera Ventures, which is a Canadian-based venture capital firm that focuses on healthcare. More specifically, Lumera is a life science-focused venture capital firm that works to be an active partner with its portfolio companies in biotechnology, medical technologies, digital health, and consumer healthcare solutions to leverage the firm's deep experience and connections in the industry. So, while investors may be able to gain healthcare exposure in their public equity portfolio, Lumera offers another way to be exposed to the sector. Next, let's move on to Finch Capital, which is a Netherlands-based venture capital investor that focuses on financial technology companies, also known as fintech companies. Now, something interesting about Finch is that the firm recently came out with its 2022 fintech predictions, which include that buy now, pay later will replace credit cards in the future, and that there will be a lot of growth in AI-enabled debt collection software. So for investors that don't have fintech exposure in their portfolio and believe that they should, well, fintech-focused firms such as Finch, may be able to offer that exposure through these private equity funds. And finally, let's look at Vista Equity Partners, which is a US-based firm that focuses on enterprise software, software targeted at organizations rather than individuals. Vista is one of the most well-known private equity firms in the world with over $81 billion in assets under management. The firm not only works in private equity, but also in credit, with permanent capital, and in the public markets. For those of you that subscribe to our video newsletter, you will remember that we talked about Vista's public equity investment in Stamps.com before Tom Bravo, another big investor in software companies, bought Stamps.com to bring the company private. So investors looking at exposure to software companies, well, private equity funds offered by firms such as Vista Equity Partners and Tama Bravo may also be an option to offer that exposure. Now, here's a final thought. Investors, while we mention sector-specific funds in this video, you may decide to invest directly in certain sectors on your own, if you have the necessary skills and expertise, of course. If you decide to do this, you should be aware of the different industry-specific metrics that you need to look for. For example, let's consider software-as-a-service companies or SaaS companies, companies that offer software through a subscription. There are multiple metrics you should look for in SaaS companies, such as churn, which is basically how many customers stop subscribing to the software. Now, investors, you would want to look at both logo churn and revenue churn. Logo churn is how many customers cancel their software subscription or don't renew it, while revenue churn is how much revenue is lost by customers canceling their software subscription or not renewing it. 
And you really want to look at net revenue churn since it accounts for any upselling to existing customers as well. In addition to churn, you'll want to look at customer acquisition costs. In other words, how much does it cost the SaaS company to acquire a customer? Now, you would want to look at various ways the company is acquiring customers. Is it through paid ads, organic marketing, or both? Many investors look at the blended customer acquisition cost, blending inorganic and organic methods. And if you're looking for one main metric to quickly measure the company's overall performance, well, investors looking at SaaS companies may use the rule of 40. For the rule of 40, you'd want to add the revenue growth rate and the profit margin to see if it adds up to more than 40. This will incorporate the company's growth with the company's profit all in one metric. Now, while we mentioned churn customer acquisition costs and the rule of 40, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are many other SaaS specific metrics that you should look for. So investors, if you have the necessary skills and expertise to invest directly in a specific sector, well, great. But if you don't and you want exposure to a certain sector, sector specific private equity funds may be the right option for you. In this video, we went over three examples of private equity firms that have sector specific private equity funds. We went over Lumera Ventures, Finch Capital, and Vista Equity Partners. There are quite a few sector specific funds around the world. Do you know any? If so, please write the fund's name and the fund strategy in the comments below. It'll be great for our viewers to see some of the sector specific funds that are out there.